Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, technology and entertainment clients showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. Well, I'm here in the younger stand with Friedman and I'm really excited to hear a little bit more about the company and where you are in the market and what you're offering, Friedman. Right, thank you for having me. Hello. Uh, yeah, Jünger Audio is a um, company focused on audio processing solutions. So we have been in the market for quite some time uh, in the past with hardware-based solutions and now we are, of course, moving to a more dynamic market with our software and hardware-based solutions. So it's a, uh, yeah, we're evolving just like the market and our customers do. And that's key, you have to evolve, you have to try and stay ahead of the curve. Things blink and things have changed. So talk to me about new trends. Uh, I mean, obviously, AI, cloud, we're hearing all about that at the show, but specifically trends that are impacting on you. Right, so what we see as the current trends in, in the audio uh, realm of the broadcast market is actually a move to cloud-based uh, solutions and uh, processes and uh, software as a service based systems. Um, of course there is trends in the uh, audio processing specifically with AI that we are picking up and uh, with new formats like uh, next generation audio, uh, object based audio, immersive, all that. And this is actually these, uh, the three key points in our um, uh, presentation here at this show this year. So we are trying to pick up our customers where they currently are and provide them with our uh, tools and solutions uh, in their required formats, required uh, interfaces, uh, required actually environments. And so with that in mind, what are you showcasing here? Right, so the main product we're showing, of course, is our large processing environment called Flex AI. And this is now, and that's uh, the coolest uh, thing that we're presenting that's now totally cloud ready. So we are presenting this um, as a AWS um, cloud native solution, which we call Flex AI Cloud. So you can now use this on-prem hardware uh, on uh, specific hardware if you need traditional media interfaces and in cloud environments. So we have it ready wherever you are in your journey uh, on the, in the broadcast uh, format market, let's say. So it's about listening to customers and adapting and, and finding solutions. How are people reacting to what you're showing them? Yeah, that's the, that's, uh, the reactions are super positive because uh, we're not forcing them to uh, any deployment version. They can just choose um, to use it on-prem and expand it to the cloud, for example. And this is a solution that we actually see uh, very well received at the moment because not everybody has moved to a cloud-based um, um, uh, to a cloud-based environment uh, yet, uh, but they are preparing for it. So everybody is uh, happy that they can just move our solutions wherever they need them, whenever they are ready to move their uh, environment in total. That flexibility is key. And who are your end users? Who are you targeting at? Right. We are uh, mainly uh, targeting the large broadcasting companies, but not only uh, these large-scale solutions. We try to always preserve our solutions to smaller uh, independent companies also. So we have uh, the same uh, environment ready for small-scale solutions as well as large installations with hundreds of hundreds of channels. And the cool thing with, with this concept behind Flex AI is that it's always providing the same tools, no matter what your actual en environment requires. So it's uh, yeah, high quality, high end processing for all of our customers, not dividing between the smaller and the larger ones. So the sky sounds like it's the limit. Where do you go from here? What's the future for Younger? Well, there's there's so many there's so many interesting paths right now. So the uh, next generation audio, of course, is keeping our development really busy because there's so many tools to implement and integrate from codecs like ED2, for examples, for new metadata formats like SADM, processing with high uh, channel counts. Everything is currently going into the platform. Uh, so you can just choose um, what you need from mono to 7.1.4 and of course AI is, is one of the uh, other key um, development uh, projects currently so we are trying to 
implement our idea of using AI in a really intelligent way in um, accompanying our algorithmic processing. So it's a nice uh, combination that helps people uh, to, um, to solve problems they actually have yeah. without introducing them to solutions where there was no problem uh, in the first place. So it's a little you bit got, different. Yeah. <laughs> you got to keep it simple where you can. Your right. enthusiasm is infectious. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Friedman. Thank All the best for, for the show. Me. Thank you.